Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back once again to Fat Cat Collections. Super excited to share with you guys today yet another pair of cowboy boots for the collection. Now, this is a pair of Roper boots, and these are absolutely incredible. Let me just pull up the listing here uh, so I can give you guys the information as I review the boots. Now, uh, these are the Roper Carson Snip Toe boots. Uh, now, I have to tell you, I'm a huge fan of snip toe boots, and I don't have a huge collection of cowboy boots, but I have about, I don't know, maybe 10 pairs uh, at this moment. Some are ankle boots, some are, you know, full-size boots, but I have to tell you, these are fantastic. Now, I do have a couple complaints with these, uh, and it's just disappointing uh, with companies like this, or like any company. I just sometimes wonder if they actually, like, test fit their products before producing them, or be, before going into production. Uh, so, uh, all right, so let's talk about the, the cool things about this boot. This is um, a Western snip toe, and what I love about the snip toe is just, it's, I think, a cross between, like, a really dressy shoe or boot uh, without looking like a dress shoe. Now, I have some boots, and what, I'll, what I found is some of the, the Mexican-branded boots, uh, I did a, a review on, um, was it Stone Ridge, I think it's called? Stone Ridge, something like that. I checked out my other videos uh, recently, and what I didn't like about them is that some of the Mexican boots and this is personal preference. I'll still buy more Mexican uh, produced boots, but the I'm not saying these aren't produced in Mexico. I'm saying the style I found that it's a lower heel, right? It's about I don't know, maybe a half inch lower. And uh, if you get ones with a slightly longer toe and a more of a square toe, when you have your jeans on or your pants, you, they tend to look just like uh, dress shoes and not boots. Uh, so that's kind of what I've learned with getting a pair of. Uh, what was the name? It's, it's my combination, um, like natural crocodile leather. I know which ones were they. I think they were Stone. I think they were Stone Ridge. But anyway, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to my playlist. We can check out all the boots I've reviewed. Uh, but it is something to think about. You know, when you're when you're looking into getting something um, or adding something to your collection or your wardrobe, and you're not super familiar with all the different types out there. Maybe you haven't tried on a hundred different pair of boots. Uh, you just assume when you're buying this stuff that, you know, a lot of times on these listings, you only get a few pictures. You know, it's really hard to tell sometimes what the toe actually looks like. Even these, even though these are a snip toe, if you compare these snip toe boots to my uh, my Laredo, um, which ones are they? Laredo, my, one of my favorite Laredo boots are you. Um, the snip toe is a little bit more, I'd say, chiseled and more of, uh, I think, a little skinnier. These are definitely still a snip toe, you can see, but they're not... I would say a really aggressive snip toe. I think they're pretty close to like a standard pair of boots. Now I do have some Laredos right here and you can get an idea of the difference. You can see in the Laredos, it's just more of a pointed snip toe uh, where this is, I think, kind of in between a standard toe and a sort of a, 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 sort of a snip toe, right? So that's kind of a little bit of a negative thing for me because in the listing, these look like these, okay, based on the pictures. And this boot, it's extremely difficult anywhere on Google to find even any kind of pictures of this actual boot, um, or I shouldn't say actual boot, but they act like more pictures of the boot. Um, there's only like, you know, you have a side shot, and when you go to the Amazon listing, which I will put in the description of this video, um, you'll see that they look like a much pointier toe, um, and they're not. But still, at least they're not a standard round toe, which I still like, don't get me wrong, but snip toe is my thing. Um, now, I do like the harness on here, um, which is all leather. I love the distressed look on these, and I have to tell you, I know it's kind of weird, but the smell reminds me of like this Western store uh, that we had in town uh, where I grew up as a kid. You walk in and you smell the leather belts and the boots and the saddles and just, it's very nostalgic for me. It's just a, a very rich, wonderful smelling leather. And I will tell you that the other boots I have just don't have this strong of a leather. So that's a real plus with the Roper brand. It makes me want to get more of their boots. Um, now, the other really cool thing about these boots is they have more of a work boot tread. Uh, so these are almost like a hybrid uh, work slash cowboy boot. You could get away with using these as a work boot. I mean, construction on these is fantastic. Um, I love the fact that they have this tread. Now, this is something that unfortunately will not last forever. You know, all things wear. Um, and it looks like something that um, is kind of a skin on top of the standard I don't know if this is like a leather construction underneath. I'm not sure if this is leather. It feels like it might be synthetic. Uh, but it is something that is going to wear. And if you were to have these replaced by, 
you know, if you really take care of your boots and you do wear out the heels and, and, and the soles, you, know, you could have a shoemaker, a boot repair shop, uh, resole these, but I'm not sure they'd be able to do that same tread. So even if they didn't, the boot is so cool. Even with the standard tread, it would still be cool. But I do like the fact that it's got a work boot tread. That's really unique and different. You don't find a lot of snip toe traditional cowboy style boots with a traditional cowboy style nice high heel with that work boot tread. Generally, when you're find, looking at boots that are work boot, cowboy work boots, they have a totally different look. They're more of like a really square toe. They look more like a like a, how a work boot looks. So these are very stylish work boot. Now, I don't know if I did have a job in construction, I'd want to wear something this nice, uh, but either way, you, you can and you have that wonderful tread. Uh, again, really cool strap on here. This is not removable, or is it? It is removable. I think it's removable. Let me not break it here. You know, I'm not going to yank on that. It looks like this is non-removable, but it is a threaded, um, kind of, yeah, actually, you could remove this. So this is actually threaded looks like a threaded screw on there, which is good to know because you don't want that thing coming loose and losing anything. Uh, but you could remove this if you had to, or if you had to replace this, or if you just didn't like this. Um, I love the straps. I think they're called concho straps. I think, don't, you know, I'm not an expert here, just sharing you guys, sharing with you guys the boot. Um, really awesome look. I love uh, uh, harness boots like this. And this is, they make these in a couple different colors. Uh, this was the best value at $151. And that price seems pretty controlled across the board wherever you buy these. These did come through eBay, but they came from Shepler's through, uh, sorry, Amazon through Shepler's, okay, so uh, which is a huge Western warehouse. Um, I love the finish on these. This is like a distressed, um, I wouldn't call this like a black distressed, although there is black in it, but this is kind of like a beigeish black. Like sometimes you'll see distressing, which brings out like the grayish hue. Uh, these have more of a brownish beige look, which I absolutely love. Milwaukee Leather makes a pair of boots very similar to these with a more traditional work boot style, more of a biker boot, which I am going to buy. They make it in a gray distress and then a, a brown distress like these. And this is such a rich, beautiful color. I'll most likely get uh, that color. Now, I want to show you guys again. This is a pair of Laredos done in like a black distressing. And you can see um, there is quite the color difference. One's a grayish black, one is this cool, rich. Uh, I love the, the, the tan of that. It's just really, uh, it looks really like natural, like real, you know? Uh, pretty awesome boot, not gonna lie. Now again, uh, super quality, great construction. Price point, 150, 152 shipped. It does get a five star rating, but that is only one, um, one review. I did put uh, my two cents on there because the downside to these is I wear seven and a half in all boots, right? That's that's my size. That's it is what it is. Uh, nice thing about that is most guys have bigger feet. Uh, so a lot of times you get better prices with the seven and a half. Um, I have worn eights, but I always find seven and a half to be the best size uh, for me. Uh, now these are extremely tight. Now I like the boots so much that I am going to keep them and I'm going to show you what they look like. But um, I don't understand why companies don't test, like I don't know if they don't test fit their boots or what. But the problem is not the length, the size of the shoe is fine. It's this part right here around the ankle. Getting your foot into this, I have to really force these on to get them off. And if I put them on barefoot, I'd probably never get them off again. Luckily the sock gives a little bit of uh, a little bit of give so I can kind of slide my foot out. Now my left side of my body is bigger than the right. Everything on the left is, is substantially larger, right? I mean, uh, it is what it is, the way I was born. Uh, so I know that my, my left foot's a little bigger, so generally when I put on shoes, if it fits good on the left, I know the right will be fine. These, when I got them, I put on the right, and it was pretty snug, and I was like, oh man, the left is gonna be a little bit of an issue. Uh, now I am gonna show you what I have to go through to get these on. Again, I like them so much, I'm gonna keep them, but it is something to think about. Um, I'm not a huge guy, right? I weigh about 175 pounds. Um, I have, you know, obviously some some body fat in the waistline, but that's really about it. That's from my, my beer drinking days, right? So, like, it's not like I have fat ankles or anything like that. Like, I'm pretty trim everywhere else. It's not like I have big joints, you know? I'm not, it's nothing really unique to my body why these shouldn't just slide in like every other pair of boots. So uh, let me just go ahead and I'm gonna drop the camera and so you guys can see what they look like and then also see uh, kind of how they fit. Uh, let me drop this down, that should work for us I think. Um, so first and foremost, I'm gonna try on the Laredos. Uh, the Laredos, I just wanna compare these. You can see, if we compare just the ankles, I hope you can see, you may not be able to see. 
going to be hard for you to see this, but if we look at the ankles, you can you can see, or I can see, that the um, the roper boots are definitely more narrow. And I have a pair of Laredos that are a little more narrow, but they're just not this difficult to get on. So I'll show you my normal process with normal seven and a half inch, seven and a half size boots. My left foot, go to put them on, grab the uh, the loops here, and they just slide on with ease. Um, you know, nothing really difficult. These have a lot of room in the ankle, which, you know, it's fine. I, I, it's a lot of boots that I have. I don't think these are ones I did. So these would be a great candidate for adding an insole, which is what I do on most of my boots, just because it helps to collect, uh, you know, some of the sweat and stuff like that. And I think it, it preserves the life of the boots. Um, go, get, go get yourself 10 pairs, and you'll, you'll last you a really long time. Um, so I, I just like the way those slide on. Really no issues. Um, now, when I go ahead and slide on... The, uh, the roper boots, I mean, here, I'm going to go with the right first. And I got to tell you, like, I'm just a little concerned. I hope these loops really last because you really have to, I mean, it's kind of a battle to get those on. Now, I'm going to wear them, and I hope they, they loosen up a little. I did read online uh, that boots tend to loosen up. As far as the fit, the reason I wouldn't want to go with an eight is because my toe is right. Hopefully, you can see that. Right here, I have about an inch of toe room. So I wouldn't want to go with an eight because I just don't think that's really going to make any difference. Uh, now here's the left. And this is this is the one, man, that's really, and I don't want to damage the boot anyway, but I really have to kind of work my foot in there. And it's probably easier if I stand and wiggle a little. And it's not, like it is awfully hard for me to get it in. And it's just because of the room between, on the front and back of the ankle. Once they're on, uh, they feel great. Like, I don't have any issues once they're on. Like, they're not, like, squeezing my toes. They don't feel uncomfortable. Um, now, I wouldn't put an insole in these because it's going to be even more difficult to get on. And I do hope they loosen up, but they are just a killer. Let me get the Laredo out of the way here. They're just a killer look. And I absolutely love them. You know, and if you're not, like, these are the kind of boots that even if you're not, like, a cowboy boot guy and you're thinking about... Maybe getting into wearing a pair of cowboy boots. This, I think, is a nice kind of uh, boot to maybe start off with. I, you know, everybody's different. Everybody likes different things. But what I like about these is when you look at them, I don't think you automatically think cowboy boot because they have that aggressive work boot tread. Uh, they, they just they have a hybrid look to them. And I think they're extremely uh, universal, very adaptable, and they're just absolutely a stunning set of boots. Um, I love them, you know. I said the other day, I'm not going to buy anything else, right? I'm going to hold off for a while. And every time I, I just look, I'm like a, I swear to God, I just can't control myself when it comes to getting a cool pair of boots. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. It'd be so much easier if I had a, an e a camera guy, maybe, or better way of doing this. But it is what it is, guys. And I'm wearing a, uh, these jeans I reviewed the other day on Amazon. They're just like a regular straight. Uh, they're not a boot cut. They're just a straight, slim fit jean um, off Amazon. I love them. They're super comfortable. They look great. They go over these boots no problem. They do have a little bit of stretch to them. And I think even if you have skinny jeans, which I have many pairs, uh, you'll be able to force these over. I like the fact they're not really big around the calves. They're nice and uh, snug, which is great. But I just wish they would have made a little more room around that ankle to slide these on. And you might be saying, well, maybe the strap is causing these. This is pretty, like, there's given this. Like, it's not being obstructed by that. But uh, nonetheless, I'm going to wear them, break them in a little bit. Hopefully they loosen up. And I'll just deal with it because they are just such a great looking boot. I mean, yeah. now if you don't like the distressed color, they are available in black. They are available in like a brown. And I think like maybe like a shiny black. Uh, price on the other variations goes up. You're looking at about 200 bucks which isn't insanely out of line, but you know, like with watches, like anything, I kind of have a comfortable area I like to spend uh, my money on. And it's really for boots, it's like 100 to 150. Uh, once I get past that, I start to look for other options. But uh, these, the price point is great. If they ever come down, if they ever get the black pair comes down price, I'll definitely order them because uh, they are just an incredible looking shoe. Uh, I love them, I love them. I think you guys will absolutely love these if you get them. Um, as far as sizes, I'm looking right where I bought them. And right now they say they only have 13 wide and 11s. And I think these are available in wide variations. Um, 
You know, I, I don't normally wear wide boots or shoes for that matter, so I don't know if a wide might would have made this any better. Uh, you know, in my mind, you know, my common sense mind, wide, you know, it's more room in the width, right? And I feel like that really wouldn't make a difference in getting the boot on or off, but um, I don't know, maybe it does. Uh, it's too bad these weren't on Amazon uh, wardrobe because I would have ordered uh, a couple different sizes, picked the one I liked the best. But to be honest with you, I don't really... I never really have to do that with boots, you know. There's only one other occasion I've had where a um, boots did this, and this was a, a pair of uh, they were Laredos, uh, they're snip toe Monte Crocs, and they were extremely difficult to get on. Um, and I ultimately they weren't as difficult as these, and I returned because I just didn't like kind of the shower curtain faux snakeskin look. Uh, but these I like so much, I will deal with it. And like I said, guys, once they're on, I mean these are. I mean, these are super comfortable. Like, I don't have any issues of movement. My toes aren't smushed. They just feel like a perfectly... Um, honestly, they fit better than the Laredos once they're on. They just feel like they fit your foot properly. And, you know, maybe with my inexperience when it comes with, with boots, maybe uh, a lot of boots are really hard to get on like that. If you do know, if, if you have an answer for me, if you have boots uh, that are that's kind of standard on a lot of them to really have to force your foot into them, then, you know, let me know. Of course, it's something I am going to live with regardless uh, because I like them so much, but uh, it's just it's just kind of interesting how um, you know jeans and, and and things fit like they're never you really have to try things on you know and that's why I always that's why I always buy from Amazon because I always have the opportunity for the most part to return things I do want it is worth mentioning let me just pop this up here so I'm talking to you guys again here it is worth mentioning uh, that oh, there we go that um, not every listing on Amazon has like free returns. Uh, and I don't think because these came from, um, in my case, Shepler's, I don't know if you order these and you say, oh, they don't fit, I want to send them back. You may have to return, you have to pay return shipping. Uh, Amazon, and you can find them on eBay, I'll put a link to both places. Uh, always buy from where you feel most comfortable. Um, a lot of places, if it's a defect due to quality or they ship the wrong thing, they will, they will have to pay for return shipping. You, like eBay, they'll automatically send you a label on the company's dime. Uh, but if it's just something like, oh, I ordered the wrong size, or in this case, you can order the correct size and have it fit incorrectly. I don't know how that works when it comes to, uh, to uh, sorry, I saw a giant bee out there, uh, when it comes to returns like that. But, uh, you know, if you do live in an area where you can try on a pair of Roper boots, try on a couple different variations, see what might fit you better. Uh, you might find some Roper boots on Amazon that are part of their wardrobe, then you can Get, buy them, return them. There's no no issue with that. Uh, they don't even charge you till they're actually, you have seven days to try them on. Unfortunately, this is not a, one of those cases. And I'm looking here and I don't even see anything about return. So um, being that these did say Shepler's on the box, you might want to check with Shepler's. And you can buy them directly through Shepler's, but I do like always buying through Amazon. Um, I don't know. It, it seems like the price is controlled on these. But I'm going to link to the Roper store on Amazon in the description. I'll also link to these specific boots. Uh, again, 11 and 13 wide is all I'm seeing now. But I have found that this is listed on Amazon under many different sellers. And you might find the size you're looking for. The price is all going to be the same. Uh, so... Um, Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, drop me a comment, drop me an email. I'm always here to help you guys. Uh, as always, I do appreciate you taking time to watch and hear me ramble about these products, but I think it is helpful for people to know kind of what they're getting into. I know before I buy a product, I always, uh, especially cologne, I, my YouTube is like my first place to go and find out what people say about the cologne. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day and take care.